Hello, dear brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining Mother and Refuge of the End Times. Today, an article written by Jacqueline Burkpile, published on September 12, 2023, on churchpop.com. And it reads like this. How devotion to Our Lady of Sorrows changed my life. Six ways I experience her powerful intercession. Our sorrowful mother never breaks her promises. The author writes, I developed a devotion to Our Lady of Sorrows within the last three years after discovering the supernatural power of her intercession. I primarily prayed the daily rosary and turned to St. Therese of Lisieux, which are both very powerful devotions. Pray your rosary daily as Our Lady requests. I initially began praying to Our Lady of Sorrows when I discovered her power in changing hardened hearts and revealing secrets. Sometimes it's immediate. Other times, I just wait for her to grant my requests. However, based on Our Lady's revelations, she never breaks a promise. Below, I've listed six ways Our Lady of Sorrows gives me grace, comfort, strength, and what I believe are miracles in my daily life. First, Our Lady of Sorrows gives me joy and comforts me in suffering. It is difficult to explain, but when I ask for Our Lady of Sorrows intercession, most especially on the Seven Sorrows Rosary, she grants me the grace of joy. Upon finishing this meditational prayer, I feel stronger and more capable of handling life's difficulties. Even when I experience sorrow and pray for her help, she somehow grants me joy in my suffering and through her sorrow. Our Lady promises that through this devotion, she will, quote, console them in their pains. I truly believe this comforting grace is Christ's way of saying he will never abandon us, and that true joy lies in resting in him. Uniting our sufferings to Christ and meditating on his mother's sufferings pleases him, as we are called to emulate Christ in and through our own sufferings. Matthew 11 verse 28 reads, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Point number two, Our Lady of Sorrows grants me miracles. The first time I began embracing the Seven Sorrows devotion, my husband and I just moved back to my hometown. We could not find a place to live. Everywhere we turned, every home we attempted to purchase failed. Past experiences in my hometown deeply hurt me, which made my husband refuse to live there. Feeling lost and hopeless, I turned to Our Lady of Sorrows before the Eucharistic Tabernacle. I asked her to place the Lord's will for our family on my husband's heart, to reveal to him where God called us to live. Within 20 minutes, before I even left the chapel, my husband called and asked me if we could look at a home in my hometown. I never prayed for this, but Our Lady of Sorrows conformed my husband's heart to God's will without me even asking. The rest is history. This is just one of the many daily miracles of Our Lady of Sorrows' intercession. Point number three. Our Lady of Sorrows draws me closer to Jesus. When I pray and meditate on Our Lady's suffering, she grants me the grace to love Jesus more. She draws me to the Eucharist, gives me the desire to pray and attend Mass as often as possible, and grants me the grace to love Him, especially in my trials. I love my faith and the sacraments more, especially since I began a devotion to the Sorrowful Mother. Point number four. Our Lady of Sorrows helps me in my vocation as a wife and mother. I married my husband almost 12 years ago and we have two children. The vocation of marriage and motherhood is not always easy and requires a lot of grace. When I ask for Our Lady of Sorrow's intercession, she gives me the grace of temperance. As mothers, it's easy to get angry and impatient. Our Lady grants me the grace of patience and gentleness when I feel the need to raise my voice at my children. She says in my heart, be gentle and patient, as I am gentle and patient. Point number five. Our Lady of Sorrows accompanies me in my work. 
Our Lady of Sorrows promises she will accompany devotees in their work. This is definitely true for me. Ever since embracing this devotion, I noticed Our Lady's hand in all the work I carry out throughout the day. Point number six. Our Lady of Sorrows helps me grow in virtue. The devotion to Our Lady of Sorrows helps me grow in virtue. She helps me desire greater patience, humility, temperance, and kindness. She helps me overcome my faults. She helps me desire the sacraments, which gives me the grace to desire and carry out these virtues. EWTN Foundress Mother Angelica also held a deep devotion to Our Lady of Sorrows. She said, quote, I encourage you to turn to Our Lady of Sorrows in your daily needs. She will not disappoint you. Our sorrowful mother never breaks her promises. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us.